So, so Matt didn't address anything, um, but we'll get to some of the philosophy now. Because some of these questions we have fucking answered. I mean, astronaut with the, you know, sort of implied the same thing as if all questions um, leave a newer question. There's always a new answer out there that's going to be better than the answer we have. And, and I argue that's complete bullshit. There's been exponential growth in our understanding in the last 200 years. It took us thousands of years to get the ball rolling, but once we did, now it's exponentially growing in terms of how we have picked the universe apart. We have, you know, seen past the horizon. Um, we've, got the, we've got all the information we need, I think, now to draw real solid conclusions. Not conclusions are going to go away in a thousand years or ten thousand years or ever. They are solid definitions of reality. Um, we understand so much of that now. And so, you know, it's just completely irresponsible, in my opinion, to sit there and speculate about how we have it all wrong. And we have no capacity to understand the universe we live in. I mean, it's just nonsense. <clears throat> At least in Matt's video, I mean in the comments, he did ask a couple of questions, so I'll answer those. I mean, he asked, um, you know, for an explanation of consciousness. And I've been through that one before, too. I mean, consciousness was built incrementally, um, and we understand what, what happens in a brain, okay? Um, consciousness exists in a learning animal. It's the whole idea of learning is somehow the... the the only way you can acquire a learned impression um, is, you know, or, or an opinion of something, or an idea that something was good or bad, is for this thing called sensation to exist, for there to be this the the idea of approval, disapproval, like, dislike, um, positive, negative, and so that sensation mechanism was created in a brain through this evolutionary process and I can't identify the moment or the exact um, instrument, the, the exact little creature that was the first one to possess something might be called consciousness um, but regardless it's a brain function it's a manifestation of some chemistry, some physical arrangement where um, we now have a nerve and it sends a message and the message is merely uh, an impression okay uh, and that impression is reacted to by a brain because the impression has a a quality to it and then the brain can now take that impression that that stimulation and it can interpret it and that was the key moment because now we had this this qualitative effect where something could be negative or positive by how the sensation received it it could have a, a feeling it could create a feeling a desire a want uh, a hunger uh, all of that could now be possible and then it got more complicated because emotions got added into the mix too um, but I mean it's not impossible for us to understand how it developed it's not un and it's certainly we can come up with really reasonable theories about why it's functional and why it fucking works because we can see that if we if we only behaved reactively like a reflex every time we could only act one way every time then we would be stuck like a, like a lizard you know keeps who just sits and waits for the the stimulation to be just right for the right thing to happen before it can attack um, you know that's a retarded fucking brain and we can see that sensation allows organisms to act in very elaborate and intricate ways. They can have m multiple feelings at the same time, and then they can evaluate, and then based on what their memories are, they can figure out what a best strategy is for them, um, whether they should run, or whether they should fight, or whether they should, whatever, get the food, or rape the bitch, or whatever the fucking agenda is, um, they can evaluate priorities and so it's a great feature to have and ultimately it led to the capacity for us to have something called intelligence because now by waiting uh, emotionally um, uh, ideas and thoughts we could develop something like rationality like logic we could have the capacity to reason that the, very, the capacity is built on the fact that we can wait ideas that we can make some stronger than others and, and, and that's exactly how we've constructed 
uh, a filtered and elaborate and um, precise uh, intelligence. I mean, that's how we've developed it over the last 10,000 years, because we've been able to filter um, our understanding. We've been able to grade it and appreciate right and wrong, stupid, um, weak, strong. We've been able to judge all of those things. Uh, but it's a mechanical process. It's a mechanical machine. It's a mechanical device. And, and you know, you, you just want to keep opening the door for it to be something else. And you, you just want to keep belittling the conversation um, because you don't like the tone of it or something. This isn't some sort of personal thing. It's goddamn important, though. I mean, for you to ignore the fact that what people are perceiving is important, I mean, it's just idiotic. The world is fucked up because people have stupid ideas in their heads. That's the only reason why the world sucks, is because people have dumb ideas. All right, so that's why the conversation has to take place. And my argument is, is the dumb ideas are based on this wiggle room they all want to retain, where they can make excuses to be selfish fucks and assholes and idiots. I mean, we see it all over the place. We can't even have a worldwide conversation about birth control because it offends all these people's stupid, idiotic pretense of, of ego and and um, rights, you know, some sort of natural rights. Uh, fuck that. We have fucking immediate obligations to the thing called civilization. And so because they have made their priority their natural rights, rather than the priority, the civilization that's made their life better, we're destroying the civilization. And that's why it happens, is because assholes keep wanting to wiggle around the truth of our existence. We're fucking built to be selfish assholes. The only thing that stops us from doing that is intelligence. That's a fact. Refute it. Go ahead. Refute that fucking fact. Refute the fact that our fucking DNA is structured to do one thing, consumption and reproduction. I guess that's two things, but it's one thing in the end, okay? You do the consumption so it can do the reproduction. Um, and that's the fucking ball game. That's the, the design we're built on. And, and we have these, this magnificent opportunity based on the fact that we have this intelligence and you, you fuckers just say, well, let's just squander it because the DNA is more important. Um, and, you know, as to, for astronauts' philosophy, like I said, I mean, what, it's not a, science isn't about just feeding us, making a better Big Mac. Science is partly about figuring out whether wanting a Big Mac makes any sense in the first place and whether we can maybe want something less and maybe we can want something better or want something different. So anyway, that's my response.